when I was younger in Africa, I would sit right in front of the TV and then my older my older brother Chinyak would come to me and like hit me on the back of the head and go like, blink, you're not gonna miss anything. Because he would see my eyes start watering and then I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I, I was like, all right, so I blink and I, I won't miss anything because I was like that interested in it. Like nothing else matters. Hey, uh, my name is Munta Eric Mbungu Mpo. Uh, I'm originally from the Republic of Congo. Uh, I used to be called Zaire. There was bad stuff going around me, like probably war. I know something was going on around me, but not fully. And then the passing of my mom, and then after that, we're just, just getting on the plane. I moved to the States when I was nine, like actually seven, I'm sorry. Right off the bat, like I was a bad kid. like. Land off the plane, get to the house, see my surroundings, see who's staying where, and then I ended up breaking stuff. And that whole process of me getting to 17 or 18, the family would push me to the next family member, basically. Uh, you know, I was just too bad to deal with, you know, so. They'd send me to the next family member, and then they send me to the next one. It's Houston where it, it, it was basically the ultimatum of ship up or ship out. Like, you, you gotta become better or we're gonna send you back to Africa. I think with, uh, with art and dance is what kind of helped me stray away from getting worse. I paint a lot of Afro women yeah, it's just because I like I like the um, my mother, so yeah, I paint a lot of Afro women because of my mom. I mean, I knew I had a mom, but I didn't know I had a mom. You know, like I didn't build that that memory with her. You know, and. <laughs> What do you think your mom would say now? What's up, Bananaga? You are my child. Luckily, I found art and dance that kind of filled the gap. Like, no one taught me or showed me how to do it. I didn't know anything about art. I didn't know techniques. I didn't know what's what, I, I just went. They kind of calmed me on the inside, so I went with it, because I know inside I was pretty angry. Neighbors come over here and uh, ask me like what I'm doing, and I'm like, I'm just dancing. I was in school and then I just saw some cats break dancing, you know? And then I saw them, I'm like, what the heck is that? You know why? Why are they like doing that stuff? Why it looks it looks crazy, you know, it looks it looks ridiculous. I saw a bunch of guys that didn't that weren't brothers and they were getting along, so I'm like I like this. I started just dancing and it kinda drew my attention away from like being bad and causing trouble and just being a bad kid. Breakdancing is kind of what made it to where I wasn't physical with other stuff. So I can just be more physical with myself. And then art will keep me mentally active so I'm not thinking of doing something dumb. Because I always thought, no offense, I always thought of ending it once in my life. I've, I've always thought of going down that road, but eventually like, you know, figuring out that there's there's always going to be something better there. Don't give up. The main thing of it all is just to leave a footprint. 
I mean, isn't that what everybody wants? I would love to have at least five people remember me. That's, that's a footprint.